Hey, how you doing? We are in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 22, verses 24 through 30. This is a continuation of the Last Supper discussion. And so here we go. Also a dispute arose among them as to which of them was considered to be greatest. Jesus said to them, The kings of the Gentiles lord it over them, and those who exercise authority over them call themselves benefactors. But you are not to be like that. Instead, the greatest among you should be like the youngest, and the one who rules like the one who serves. For who is greater, the one who is at the table or the one who serves? It is, is it not the one who is at the table? But I am among you as one who serves. You are those who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer to you a kingdom, just as my father conferred one on me, so that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. So, they want to be great. They're arguing about who is supposed to be the greatest. This is something that seemed to come up fairly regularly. <laughs> you know, they're jockeying for position. And, uh, you know, it's so important to recognize that the, the apostles were just normal people. You know, they wanted to know, am I above average? Am I below average? How do I line up? Where am I in the pecking order? You know, they wanted to know that. And they wanted to be you know, at the top. And so they're so, oh, yeah, I'm better than you and that sort of a thing. So there's this dispute among them about who is supposed to be the greatest. And I find it every time that something like this is described in the scriptures, you don't see Jesus say, quit wanting to be great. You know, you're just a pathetic worm. Quit trying to be somebody. He never says that. What Jesus does is he redefines greatness says, you want to be great in the kingdom of heaven? That's different than great in the world. So go ahead and be great, but be great in the kingdom of heaven way. Be great in the way Jesus was great. And what is that way? It's the way of the servant leader. Jesus, you know, the servant Messiah, the servant king, the servant son of God, you know, like uh, a bit of a bizarre concept uh, for us today and for them back then, it was just a mind-blowing concept. You know, Jesus is there as one who serves, not as one to lord it over others. And so he is our example in this, and we're supposed to walk through that in that way. So we are called to be servant leaders, both humbly serving and great leaders, great people in the kingdom of God way. So we want to have great influence. We want to make a difference in other people's lives. We want to be powerful in the kingdom of God as we serve, servant leaders. And then Jesus uh, finishes that out with kind of a reiteration of, you are supposed to be great. You know, um, you are those who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer on you a kingdom, just as my father conferred one on me. So uh, he's saying, look, you are great. Be servants. This is what greatness in the kingdom of God means. So let's pray uh, against pride and selfish ambition so that we can truly be great in the, uh, in the kingdom of God sort of way. So Heavenly Father, help us uh, to be aware of when our pride, selfish ambition, our own desires uh, to measure up, our insecurities, all of our self-issues start to present themselves. Help us to be keenly aware of that so that we can reject that pride and not want to be great in the worldly way, but that we could grab hold of greatness in the kingdom of God way be servant leaders, be people who love others, be people who are humble and gentle, but who are strong and steadfast in the, in the midst of opposition and difficulty. So Lord, help us to be the servant leaders and be great in your kingdom as you desire. Uh, let it be. In Jesus' name, amen.